Apple's new iOS 11 system update coming this fall will bring a load of new features to iOS devices, especially for iPads. Alongside the usual performance improvements and graphical tweaks, Apple's tablet will get access to a completely new set of enhanced multitasking tools, making them more useful than ever. Let's start with the updated slide over mode. While an app is open, swipe up from the bottom of the display to access the new app dock, then drag an app up onto the screen. A new app window floats on top of the already open app. Now you can grab the handle at the top of the window and slide it horizontally across the screen, useful for revealing whatever was previously hidden by the slide over window. The best part is that with iOS 11, you can now use both apps at the same time. Slide over works well for apps you need quick access to. For example, using the new drag and drop feature to drag an image into an email in Mail. Once finished, simply slide Mail off the right side of the screen. Now if you plan on using multiple apps for a longer period of time, you can use split view mode. To access this feature, either drag an app from the dock to the outermost edge of one side of the screen, or simply pull on the window handle while in slide over mode. You can also continue this gesture to switch between split view and slide over modes. In split view mode, both apps will instantly open up side by side, and more importantly, the rest of the main app will move over, revealing the full app pane instead of being covered up by the slide over window. You can now drag and move the secondary apps tab on the other side of the screen. The center tab can be manipulated to adjust the size of each app. Options are equally sized apps or 25-75 split for either app. With iOS 11, users have the ability to drag and drop links between apps instead of having to hit copy and paste. If you need to drag a link into a different app, simply tap and hold on the link, bring up the dock, and hover over a target app. The second app will open, allowing you to drop the link in. You can easily replace one of the apps by dragging it from the dock. You also have the option to add a third app within a slide over window by dragging it in between the apps, except now the split view will be grayed out, only allowing you to use that one app. If you decide to use the app instead of the current one, simply drag on its tab and replace the app under it. Alternatively, slide it off the right side of the screen or simply tap on one of the other apps. There's also an option in the settings to allow you to bring back the app you swiped off. Simply swipe left from the right side of the screen. You can also use the dock to simply switch to another app. Space is limited, however, meaning the app you're looking for might not be on the dock. In such cases, press the home button to find what you need. When you go back into an app that was used in split view mode, iOS 11 will bring both apps back just as you had them configured. If you want to quickly access a recently opened app, just perform an extended swipe up from the bottom of the screen to reveal the new app switcher. Complete with the new control center and dock, you can also access this view by double clicking the home button. Here, you can quickly change system controls and view recently opened apps, including apps that were in split view mode, which are now combined into one title, making it easy to pick up where you left off. In iOS 11 Beta 3, you're able to close apps by swiping them off the screen. Apple also built in support for four or five finger gestures. Like macOS gestures, users can pinch with four fingers to access the home screen, swipe up to reach the app switcher, or swipe left and right between apps. Another option to enable is recent apps, which will display up to three recently used apps on the right side of the app dock. Finally, we have the option to enable persistent video overlay, which allows a video to continue playing in an overlaid window by tapping the picture in picture button in the video player. The picture-in-picture -picture adjusts screen resolution automatically, which is great for viewing widescreen format videos. The picture-in-picture -picture window can be moved to any corner of the screen or even swiped off the screen, all while continuing playback. You can also swipe it up and down without opening it. To bring it back, either tap the arrow or swipe it back. The window will stay on the screen even if you hit the home button. Just about any app can be opened without disrupting playback, even when using split screen. With picture-in-picture, -picture, iPad users can now have a total of four apps running at the same time by using a slide-over panel, but unfortunately you can't access both split-view apps until you get rid of the slide-over app. Tapping on the PIP allows you to pause and exit while tapping the PIP button takes the video player app full screen. Unfortunately, YouTube currently lacks support for this feature, but there's always a possibility that support will be added in the future. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.